Hi everyone, my name is Candice and this is Candice Be True, baby, Candice Be Real. On this channel, we like to get together and do product reviews, unboxings, have some guest appearances, and most importantly, have fun. So if you are interested, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. Today's video is completely out of my comfort zone. We are going to be doing a product review, which I love because I love giving my honest opinion, but I am going to be doing a video for you all where I am trying on eyeshadow, which I'm making this seem like, <gasps> but I'm trying on eyeshadow while filming, giving my first kind of first impressions. This is the pure Be Your Selfie palette. There are some really beautiful shades, so I figured let's do a get ready with me um, review type video of this palette. So does this not remind you of like the holiday season? Look at all of those beautiful colors in there. I will do swatches. It includes the shadow names right by each tin there. I'm going to leave down below how much this palette is. I got this in a box. I get 99% of my makeup, 75% of my makeup, 25% at least is from TJ Maxx, but I get 75% from subscription boxes. So I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry I smelled that. Um, and I did it again. These shadows smell like sugar cookies and maybe I'm just in the mood for the holidays. We, we need a little cheer this year. We all need a little cheer. So again, here's the palette. There is a big mirror, which I will be using, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch and oh my goodness, like that first shadow there was just absolutely so soft and creamy. That is called Pure. The next one is called Natural. So look at that beautiful kind of like light chestnut brown shade. This one is called Free. So these are swatching pretty well. As you can see, some of the pigmentation isn't as kind of um, bright, right? Um, there is the fourth one right there, and that is a glitter shade called Charming. This next one is a bronzy, that is a bronzy shade called Charming. Nope, that is a bronzing shade. That is a bronze shade called Alluring. And then we have another glitter shade called Gorgeous. So a lot of these are going to be glitter shade. And that one is super, super gorgeous right there. Then we have Fabulous, which I do want to use today because, oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. And then we have another matte one, I believe, and this is called Strong. Yeah, so that's also super pretty as well. And then lastly, we have one called Confident. And you need to be confident to wear this one because it is pretty dark and deep, but beautiful. So like a deep plum shade. I mean, this palette, look at all the beautiful colors. And what I've found is that these kind of red, deeper shades really make my eyes pop. So I figured, why not? Let's go ahead and try them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down an overall shadow shade. Um, what you wanna do is pick a shadow that is close to your skin tone or something that is kind of wearable all over the lid. Um, so I am gonna go in with one of my handy dandy subscription box brushes. This, and I'll, I'll put them down below what I used, but this is the, you know what? We're gonna change. This is, this was an actually, this brush was actually in Ipsy. So it was in the Tetris kind of curated box. Um, so I'm gonna go in and just start with pure all over my lid. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, initial impression so it's going down and it's super super soft as i mentioned there is some fallout but i'm also trying not to make an hour-long video for you all and i'm just kind of doing that like windshield washer 
swipe across my lid. The next shade that I'm going to go ahead and pick up for my outer corner here, and I'm gonna go in now with the SS Miss Glam Angled Eye Brush. I really like the shade. What do I want to do? So I'm going to go in with Fabulous. Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to do it. It's happening. So Fabulous is, again, kind of that toasty, just making up names here, toasty red shade. It is a glitter shade. So what I will say, I may not be able to use this one is that I might need to put down some additional eye primer to get it to stick to my lid because right now I feel little flecks kind of popping off. You have to really go ahead and like press in there and now you can see I'm getting some color payoff. I don't mean to sound weird, but these shadows smell amazing. Maybe I'm just hungry. It is about 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Um, just getting ready for work for the day. I will, I will also say that I feel like it is so important to just make yourself like feel good right now and putting on makeup is the one thing that makes me feel really good about myself. Um, although we have masks on our mouth so this lip shade will probably have to come off. Um, people can see your eyes and like I'm gonna go real deep right now but your eyes are the window to your soul so kind of what your eyes say is a lot um so the way you communicate with other people the way you kind of look at other people does say a lot i went in and i blended a little bit too much so i'm going to go back with pure and just add some and i want to do a middle kind of transition shade so what i'm going to do there is maybe a lighter shimmer i think charming would be that good mid transition so let's go in with charming again gonna put charming kind of right in the middle and pat it over top to create like that third transition so kind of a seamless or that third shade to kind of create a seamless transition there and i like it these glitter shades, what I will say, are hard. You have to, you have to have the right brush, and you have to pack it just right. So something that is, you want to use a brush that is kind of heavy in terms of um, how tightly the the bristles. What say bristles? The bristles are packed. Or do I want to dip back into Fabulous to do kind of my bottom lash line? And give a even more deep look to it. Let's go ahead and do that there. What do you think? How does that look? I might actually go in with my Cover FX palette, which is the one I used on my face today. So I'm going to go in with Cover FX and just use the brightener here. Um, and this is the Cover FX palette. If I didn't just break it, all over my face, so I used it for my contour, my highlight, and my blush today. So I'm just gonna add that on the inner lid there. And I'm gonna go back, do the other eye, come back and tell you what I thought. Here it is, the final look. So what do you think? I think it's really nice. I do think that is soft enough that it could be wearable during the day and for going to work like I will be shortly um but also smoky enough for like a night out to go out to dinner um and again it just makes me feel confident having the shadow on I really did like the formula of the pure shadows um so especially the mattes in here I really enjoyed I will say what I was um, calling some of the more like glitter shades, they're actually more shimmer shades and I think they're a little bit more difficult. I wanna play around with them more, maybe use like a shadow primer when I'm going into some of those shimmers just to help it stick and decrease kind of the fallout. 
And then the last thing that I did was um, use the Too Faced Darn Girl um, mascara. This is my very first time using this mascara. I'll give you my initial impressions in an upcoming video, but have you used this mascara? What do you think of it? Um, I actually got the idea to purchase it from another YouTuber um, because it is kind of their holy grail. So that is the overall look. What do you think? My review, I would say I give the palette four out of five stars. One, it smells good, which that shouldn't be the only thing that matters. But two, the shades are beautiful. There's a really good color story to the palette. Um, and I just loved the way they worked. There's very minimal fallout and I'm happy with it. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. I hope to talk to you all soon and have a great rest of your day.